Today I'm sharing with you how I made this DIY wrap high slit side seam skirt. It has a gathered waistband. It has super extremely long bow ties. Super cute, super gorgeous. I wanna share with you how I made it step by step, so stick around. Hi everyone, I'm Michelle. Welcome back to the Sopapia channel. If you're new here, welcome. I'm so happy that you're here. Today I'm sharing with you how I made this DIY wrap high slit side seam skirt. It has a gathered waistband. It has super extremely long bow ties. Super cute, super gorgeous. I wanna share with you how I made it step by step. And just real quick, my inspiration for the sewing project came from a website called Unique Space. And I'll have that in the description below if you want to check it out. The fabric that I'm sharing with you today is not sponsored, but I wanted to share where I purchased the fabric and any other additional information will be down below in the description if you want to check it out. This fabric I got from Fabric Wholesale Direct and it's an online website where you can purchase fabrics and this fabric today is a rayon chalet and i purchased it in the sand color i'm actually wearing it right now i made a cute little top to go with this skirt that i'm sharing with you today and just so you know the making of this shirt will not be in this video today These are both the skirt and tie measurements. You can go back at any time to reference them. Right here, I'm just measuring out my fabric. I used roughly two and a half yards of fabric. The fabric was cut on the fold and I cut out one piece for the front panel and one piece for the back. The width of my fabric was approximately uh, 60 to 61 inches wide. To make the skirt tie, I used about 38 inches on the fold by one inch. I pinned the fabric down to make it easier for me to cut the, the pattern piece out. Um, this is rayon chalet fabric and it's very loose and flowy and it does have a lot of movement to it so I do recommend pinning the fabric down when um, creating the skirt tie. Here I'm just prepping my skirt tie which I'll call bias tape because that's really how you make it. I started out by folding the edges of the bias tape inward about a quarter of an inch and then after that I folded the tape halfway and then I pressed it down with my iron and then I reopened the bias tape and folded it in thirds and then I pinned it or you can clip it closed before you sew it. You'll want to carefully sew along the edge of the bias tape. This here is your front and back piece of your skirt and it's on the fold and the selvage is on the top and this will become your side seams for your skirt. So before you get started you'll want to serge the side seams which is the selvage 
first before you begin. If you don't have a serger, that's okay. You can use a sewing machine and do a zigzag stitch um, from seam to seam. For this skirt, only one side will be completely enclosed on the side seam from the waistline all the way down to the bottom hem. And you'll want to attach with the right sides together of the fabric. You'll want to pin them in place and then sew along the edge about a half an inch. Once you're finished, you'll want to give it a good press. You want to open up your seams. That way they're nice and flat. My hemline is just a little bit off, so I'm going to go ahead and trim the bottom just a little bit to make it a little bit more balanced. I flipped the fabric to the opposite side and now we're going to work on the side slit of the skirt. And to do that you're going to flip the edge of the fabric over about a half an inch and then you're going to flip it over again about a half an inch. So it's super simple. See, it's really, really simple. All I'm doing is flipping it over a half an inch and pressing it. And then I'm going to go along and flip it over again and press it again. And then I'm going to clip it or you can even pin it. For the front and the back panels, you'll want to sew along the edge about a half an inch. Now to close the seams for the side slit side of the skirt, you'll need um, Taylor's chalk or your favorite marking pen and you'll need a flex uh, measuring tape. You're going to have two open ends. So one end you're going to measure three inches from the edge of one slit and on the other slit what you're going to do is you're going to line up the open edge up to the three inch mark that you just marked on your fabric. You're going to line it up and then you're going to pin it in place and then we're going to sew just that one area, three inches, um, up real close to the edge.
now that this is sewn in place um, like I said earlier in the video um, I'm using rayon chalet and this fabric is very flimsy so you may want to go back and pin the side slit that you just closed um, that way you can have some extra security to keep this video short I'm not going to go into full detail but what you're going to do is you're going to repeat the same steps as you did for the side seams you're going to for the hem fold it over by half an inch press it and then you're going to fold it over again and sew along the edge about a half an inch next up we're going to work on the waistband um, the casing for the elastic to go through and what we're going to do is we're going to fold over the top edge over by half an inch and you're going to press it all the way around and then you're going to go back from where you started and you're going to fold it over again but this time you're going to fold it over like one and a half inches or 3.81 centimeters and you'll want to repeat that all the way around the waistline again as shown right here it's a half an inch you're going to fold it over and press with your iron then you're going to fold it over again about one and a half inches or 3.81 centimeters remember this is going to be the casing for the elastic to go through so you'll want to ensure that you leave an opening about two to three inches to be able to feed the elastic through and we're going to be doing we're going to be sewing about two rows all the way around the waistband the first sewing line you're going to sew a half an inch from the top edge of the waistline and that's going to create the cutest little ruffle but right now right here I'm sewing the lower half of the waistband and this is the row where you're going to leave a gap for uh, your elastic to enter the casing Now you're going to sew close to the edge about a half an inch from the top part of the waistband. And this is the part I was telling you about that's going to create the cutest ruffle. Once you get your elastic in and everything tightens up together, it's going to create so many gathers. And the gathers on the top of the waistband are going to gather so closely to create that cute ruffle. And you'll see here at the end. Now you'll want to use your flexible measuring tape to get a good waist measurement for your elastic and you'll want it pretty snug, not too loose because the weight of the skirt will draw it downwards and I don't think you want that. So you want a tight fitting skirt around the waist. So now that I have my elastic, I pinned the edge of the elastic with a safety pin and I'm going to use that safety pin to help guide the elastic through the casing and this makes it so much easier.
Now that I've made it to the other side, I'm going to attach together the ends of the elastic and pin them with the safety pin just to keep them in place. And then I'm going to use a single stitch to do a zigzag motion back and forth for my elastic. In this part, it doesn't have to look pretty. You just have to ensure that you do it enough times that it's secured in place. So once you close the elastic into your waist, it doesn't come apart. And once you're done with that, you'll want to sew along the gap opening to close it up. And what I'm doing here is I'm walking the skirt waistband in a circular motion by just uh, stretching out the gathers and this helps the gathers to have that more even look. And if you don't want your elastic moving around while wearing your skirt, you can also sew along on top of the elastic on each end of the seam lines to keep it in place. But look how pretty it is. It's nice and full. And now all we have to do is sew on the tie belt. And to do that, I'm just going to evenly match my ends of my tie belt. And with the looped end of the tie belt, I'm going to tuck that into the high slit um, on the open end of the skirt. I'm going to tuck it inside underneath the side slit here about a half an inch. And then I'm going to lower the top slit of the skirt tightly. And then I'm going to pin it in place. And so I'm going to go back and forth probably four times to give it a, a secure um, stitch. And the skirt is completed. I absolutely love it. I really do. I can see myself wearing this for a really long time now. Um, I would love to hear your comments. Let me know in the comments below what you think. I'm going to go ahead and end the video right here. I hope you enjoyed today's video. And if you did, I would love for you to give me a big fat like. Um, if you enjoy these types of videos with DIY making of garments, I would love for you to consider subscribing to my channel. That way you can help my small channel grow. I try to post videos every Sunday, so I hope that you'll join me uh, next week. So I'm going to go for now and I will see you next week. Bye.